Now, um, I just want to show you how to create a bootable USB stick on Windows for Ubuntu. So just click on that guy, it'll give you the instructions here. So the first thing you have to do is download Pindrive Linux USB installer. So click on that guy. And that'll bring you to pindrivelinux.com. Okay, and there's a disclaimer there. Universal installer. And this is the guy here. So click on that guy to download the GUI for it. Save file. Again, this is Firefox. And it's a fairly small um, file, so just agree there once once you open it. Agree. Step one, select a Linux distribution from the drop down to point to your USB. So at this stage, plug in your USB. So you want to put on uh, U, uh, Ubuntu on it, okay? So click on that guy. So this is the distribution you're looking for. Browse to select your Ubuntu desktop ISO. So click browse. So where is your um, the file that you downloaded? It is in downloads and it's down near the bottom as far as I know. So there it is there. So desktop AMD 64.iso. So open that. So the next step then, step three, select your USB flash drive letter only. Okay. And tick the box there. Now showing all drives. Be careful here, okay? So you have to know. So that's your C drive. That's your your internal uh, drive on your computer. This is your DVD. And this is the one you want here is the whatever size your 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 USB drive is and then you have to format it so this will erase all the content that's on it okay step four select a persistent file size for storing changes optional okay so you don't really need that so just create it's up to yourself you can click here to visit the universal usb installer page for additional help if you like so we're going to create it and see does it actually um, fit onto a one gig universal usb installer is ready to perform the following action close uh, explorer windows allow um, your e drive which is the flash drive to be fat32 formatted uh, formatted data recovery delete create so just click yes here okay it's just telling you what um, formatting it's going to do and all that good stuff there. So, click next. And it's making the file. So once this is finished, then you will be able to uh, use it as a bootable, uh, to uh, bootable to use the Ubuntu on a USB stick. Again, you'll have to set up your um, computer in the BIOS, you'll have to set up the um, booting from USB. Again, consult your manuals for that. For your 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 either your motherboard manual or the actual laptop manual or desktop manual, whichever whichever you have. So this is going to take a while. Um, I'll pause and get back to you when it's finished. So the installation is now complete. Now, so the installation is complete. Now it just says uh, installation complete. Universal USB installer successfully installed Ubuntu on the E drive. So the E drive here is your USB, whatever, um, maybe a different letter to, to, to for you, but uh, usually it's the E drive. Okay, so that's it. So now you have it's just like it on a DVD, except it's on a USB, so you can boot. You have to go into your BIOS and 
set a boot option for your USB port. So let's show you how to um, do that now. So to get into the bias of your um, computer. So restart your computer and once it starts to restart, you press the delete key in this case. Okay, so I'm pressing the delete key, keep on tapping it like so, and then that will get you into the bias. Just keep tapping it until you see the bias window open. You will have to um, check your user manual for your computer in order to do that. Okay, as they're, they're all different, so I, I can't really tell you some of them. Um, it's just a matter of pressing F8 and selecting uh, U USB boot or F10 or F12. They're all different. Some of them use delete, the delete key to to when you're when you're um, starting your computer. So it, it'll depend on what type of a, a system you have and what instructions to actually boot from the USB are installed on your particular type of computer okay now once your bias screen opens um, this is an asus efi extensible firmware uh, interface um, it's for the uh, asus motherboards it's just a particular flavor of bias and you'll see boot priority here and the third one over is the USB. That's the first one there, which is the hard drive. And then this one over here is the one we want in place of the hard drive. So now that's going to be the priority boot. So it's just by shifting it over there. Um, some um, biases don't have this option, so you'll have to use the boot menu option here. Just click on that guy. And this little window will open, boot menu. So you have the Samsung SSD, that's what's uh, that's the hard drive that's in the computer. And the second one down then is the one that was in the middle down the corner. And this is the one for the USB. So it's Trek TDMINIG4 1.30. Okay, so um so I'm not going to use this method. I'm going to use the method in the corner of the down here. Um, so once you have it set, okay, you just click it and drag it over. And you, you need to go up to the exit advanced mode, this guy up here at the top, click on that guy and save your changes. So click it and save changes and reset. And that will start your computer. And then you'll be able to boot from the USB uh, thumb drive, okay? Or stick or whatever you want to call it, okay? Now, once your computer uh, restarts, it should pick up the USB stick or thumb drive. And it will show Ubuntu Give it a second here, get focused. You know, so you have a list of things you can do. So you can um, try Ubuntu without installing, install Ubuntu, OEM install for manufacturers, check disk for defects. So there's the options you have. So usually the one that you'd use first would be try Ubuntu without installing, and then use the one to install Ubuntu. And it installs like any other operating system. It's pretty straightforward. There isn't um, anything that you, you won't have seen before if you've installed um, an operating system. And again, if you need help with any of this, just give us a shout here. I'm always available. And then this is just showing you how to use the actual um, interface here. Now, in the next video, um, I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu on your system. Thanks for watching.